Hi guys, Danny here. I am going to plant aloe vera leaves again. But this time, I will cut the leaves into halves and then plant both the lower and upper part of the cut leaves. I wanted to know if there are differences between the cut leaf and whole leaf of aloe vera when propagating and planting. I also wanted to show what will happen to the other half the upper part of the leaves when it is planted after the cut part has already dried or callous. This is to show to those who commented on my infamous leaf cutting video who told me that the leaves did not grow because I did it wrong and that I need to callous the cut leaf before planting. I already showed in my previous videos that in order for the aloe vera leaves to propagate, you have to leave part of the stem or stem tissue on the leaf. Then I cut the leaves and had them dried in a shaded and well-lighted area. After more than a week, the leaves are turning yellowish and thin. This is because they lost a lot of gel when I cut them, especially the upper part because the gel flowed out on both ends and it took a while before the cut got healed. Unlike whole leaves that showed pops and roots after more than a week, most of these cut leaves did not grow pops and roots after almost two weeks except for this one leaf that showed little pop and root. I did not wait for the pops to show up because I didn't want these leaves to turn yellow or get totally dry before I could plant them. So I planted the leaves even if most of them do not have roots or pops yet. The usual thing that I do in planting leaves is I put stones to support the leaves while the leaves are growing roots to support themselves. I just hope that the rest of the leaves will grow pops and roots in the next few days. True enough, in just a matter of 4 days, pops are showing up on some of the leaves and I was hoping that pops will also show up on the other leaves in the next few days. While the upper part of the leaves have shown no pops, but they are still good and no signs of rot happening. 
After 12 days from the day they were planted, all of the lower leaves have pops and some have more than one pop. While the upper part leaves have shown no development at this time, it looks like one of the leaves is starting to rot or maybe it is just discoloration caused by the soil. I just did not want to check and disturb the leaf. One more week later, I thought the leaves have grown enough roots to support themselves, so I removed the stones. But the roots of one of the leaves was too shallow that after removing the stone, it fell. I checked the roots, it was already very long, only that the soil is too soft and that the roots grew sideways instead of going down. So I decided to put back the stone. This result means that aloe vera leaf can propagate even if they are cut as long as there is a stem tissue attached to the leaf. The upper part leaves didn't grow pops. They look the same after almost 3 weeks starting from the day they were planted. I checked the one leaf that I was so curious about and found out that it was really discoloration, not rotting. So I decided to put it back. For now, this result also means that you cannot propagate aloe vera leaf cutting without a stem tissue, even if the cut part of the leaf is already callous. I will keep these two pots for a while and observe how fast these pots will grow. And also observe if there will be changes to the upper leaves in the next few weeks. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.